lines go right out into the middle of nowhere. You'd only have like a, a six-pair circuit going out there that they could handle, you know, um, 36 chunks on it because of um, the multiplexing on, on the lines there. So, yeah, it's applied to an FM signal and uh, run through a cheap little radio. It doesn't matter if you break it, like a Baofeng or a Wushan. Uh, Wu Chong, I think it is. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think it's pronounced Chong at XOS. And anyway, lots of possibilities, and it doesn't break the bank if you bust it. If I blow it one up, I know how to do that too. And I'll put a picture of that on there. It's a slightly different colour than what it should be. Well, see, what I like about your tinkering is you've been taking pictures and documenting it. That's a, a wealth of knowledge that other people can grab hold of and, and try out and expand upon and make this even better than it already is. Is there a null channel on YouTube? Noel just watches YouTube, he doesn't um, put much on, on there. I'd rather just do a whole pile of still photos. Um, it can get a bit boring watching some videos, and I don't think my style on YouTube would be um, amenable to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. I, I was just uh, picturing all the pictures you're taking while you're doing stuff. And you look and see what people do sometimes, and it's ridiculous. Their photography is uh, out there. You get seasick watching the, <laughs> the videos. And, uh, yeah, you're, uh, you're probably right. Just uh, still pictures, and uh, you can still make a video out of it, but just uh, navigate from still to still with uh, either written text or uh, audio. You can do that fairly easily. KL3DO, Fairbanks. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, the bulk of the photos I've taken aren't actually while I'm doing anything. I tend to, when I'm doing stuff, I just do it. And by the time it's done, I'm all done and finished. And I've actually got to go back later on and take my photos. So some of those are, are a little bit staged um, because it's um, perhaps a bit of a second radio. A couple of those
what temperature was that? Oh, that was just minus 35 and no wind. Guessing that like a styrofoam cup or something like that? Oh, I had a coffee mug, you know, a great big 12 ounce coffee mug. I will have to check that out when I get home tonight. So, um, got some uh, other things to take care of and music practice and all that, and then I'll think about that one. It was real interesting. We found that the hotter the water, the faster it froze. Evidently, when it's really, really hot, the uh, surface tension it drops. And uh, so I actually uh, put hot water in it and then, uh, got it to uh, bubbling in the microwave and went out there. And when it went, it just went. <laughs> it was cool. Right, I have to try that here. So uh, we're too warm, though. We're 16 degrees here and uh, approaching 40, as they say. But anyway, hey, Mark, appreciate your opinion and touch on the, uh, the strawberry soup computer there. I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted. Sounds good, and I, I don't know if we know recently.